July 7th, 8th, and 9th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's a full moon. Go like this. It's big and fat. So the sun is opposite the moon. And once a year, Pluto is right next to the moon. Here we go. Pluto and the moon. In Capricorn. By the way, this full moon is very emotional. And if you felt like crying, my suggestion, said the Cancer during this month, is let yourself cry. Why is crying such a bad thing? How come boys can't cry? Why do girls feel bad for crying? Why do kids cry and get over it in two seconds and they feel so much better and they look so good and we're getting old? You know why we're getting old? Because we hold all that stuff in like this. Prunes. I'm young looking because I cry. Well, not really. I had to learn to cry, to tell the honest truth. Pluto over here. The sun over here. Just that is a very intense combination. Capricorn, Cancer. But the moon and Pluto over here, standing here saying, I want some attention. Now, let's describe, I'm giving a free webinar on Monday called Thank Heaven for Little Stars because this is the ultimate conversation between Cancer and Capricorn. Cancer is the quintessential mother, parent, Cancers feel so responsible for their kids. They never know when to let the kid out of the house, let alone stop paying for them, have you noticed? And Capricorn's like, oh my God, that's so Im irresponsible and impractical. Why are you paying for your kids? And there's all these entitled kids on the planet now because we've spoiled the poop out of them. It's okay to swear in these videos. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because it's a full moon in Capricorn. I'm trying to be proper. So let me make it simple. If you want a free video, you can watch me on Monday. It's a webinar called Thank Heaven for Little Stars. You go to my website, DebraSilvermanAstrology.com. That's one option. However, these next few days, as we go through this weekend, and it's a full moon, and the emotional energy's high, and your kids are bugging you, or your family's bugging you, it's your chance to say, this is the art of Cancer Capricorn, to calm down. Take that wild emotional sensitivity and the guilt and the feeling you got to take care of everyone and put it into the door called practical. Open the door called practical. Sit down and go, why do I support my kids and not give them freedom to get the mistakes they need to learn? Why do I feel responsible for everybody I love, said the Capricorn Cancer, and want to fix everything? Because I don't trust that they can make a mistake and learn from it. Why do I take away people's pain, Cancer, and let instead of letting them Capricorn learn their lessons by getting uncodependent? Because that's the theme of cancer. The mother, the parent, totally obsessed with wanting to take away your pain. You know what? We can't learn without pain. I hate to say this, but in the soil of pain is wisdom. Who made that up? I don't know, but I wrote it in my book, The Missing Element, if you want to go get my book. In the soil of pain, wisdom grows. And I am a wisdom hawk. Like, I'm committed. That's why I'm here with you. Want to see me fly? It's so not Cancer Capricorn. Be appropriate. The appropriate message here for this full moon is you must take your emotional body and your neediness or your codependency or your over-obsession to help other people and get practical and say, can I let someone have pain and learn their lessons without getting in the way? Great question, Deborah. Astrology Answers told me to tell you that. Full moon. If you're not sleeping well, it's not going to be a surprise. Ride the wave. It's almost going to be over in a few days that way.